I'm Adam Anshell for Pro Football Weekly, along with our associate editor, Dan Parr. We were at Hallis Hall, the Bears training facility, where for the first time in over a month, players were allowed back in due to yesterday's ruling. And also the Brian Piccolo Awards were given out by the team, which happens every year. It's just a coincidental timing of that. However, we got a chance to talk to a few players. It was just a strange scene overall. It really was, Adam. A lot of the high profile people from the organization were on hand. Got a chance to speak with Lovey Smith. Got a chance to speak with Ted Phillips, the president of the team. And uh, speaking with Ted, it was interesting to hear him kind of talk about the new reality they're dealing with now. He said that players are welcome to come into the facility, but they're not quite open for business yet. So it's not a lot of, not back to a state of uh, normalcy quite yet uh, at House Hall. It seems like more questions than answers still. We're not quite sure, but we did get a chance to see Mike Mars, Rod Marinelli. The coaches saw the players for the first time. We got a chance to talk to the players, and it was interesting to get their take on the latest. Um, like old times, like old times. Nobody uh, stopped me at the security office. You know, I just rolled straight through. It was cool. I'm trying to eat healthy, eat right, and uh, you know, do my job. And uh, you know, right now I'm just uh, stuck at home working out and watching cartoons all day. What's up with that? <laughs> but let me get back to what I do best. It's good to just see them. I haven't seen, I, as I mentioned, I had a chance to at least see Anthony at you know a few weeks ago, but haven't seen Jamarcus at all. It was good to see him. I know the guys, our guys are working that hard. I know they're anxious to get back to work, but uh, to answer your question, it was good to see them. You know, I'm grateful to be here, grateful to accept the Brian Piccolo Award, and, you know, um, and I'm glad they let me back in here. You know, I thought the, I thought the gates were locked, you know? <laughs> We arrived at Hallis Hall well before the Piccolo Awards were handed out today and not necessarily the onslaught of players that we thought we might see showing up. Right, we were kind of hanging out on our, by ourselves there for a little bit this morning, but we do understand that Robbie Gold and uh, Israel Donage, two members of the Bears, were on hand. They were in the facility earlier today. They were not uh, in the room during the part Brian Piccolo ceremony today, but uh, it'll be interesting to see when these guys do all get together again. Yeah, I think now it's just wait and see for the legal proceedings to kind of play out and the next step to happen. That is the latest from the Bears facility at Hallis Hall. For the best coverage of the NFL, be sure to follow us on Twitter or go to ProFootballWeekly.com.